Today, we're going to talk about Shell Cordovan, where I get my Shell Cordovan, and which Shell Cordovan I prefer to work with. Stay tuned. Check it out. All right, guys, just to start the video off here, this is one of my favorite pieces of Shell Cordovan to work with. Uh, this is called Shinki Shell Cordovan. Uh, this is from Japan, and depending on where you order it from, you can get that really cool factory stamp on the back, and I especially appreciate that. I think that's really cool. Uh, they have been consistent. Um, availability, I would give it a 10 out of 10. You can pretty much get these uh, at Rocky Mountain, or you can get them at Belts Leather. Uh, they're pretty consistent about their product too. The consistency of the color is always there. I rarely find anything that's mismatched or uh, any sort of odd color variation. Uh, the thickness is also one big deal for me. Uh, whenever I make a product, I want to make sure that the product is consistent. And part of that is ensuring that the leather thickness doesn't vary too much. And in this case, it works beautiful. This is a leather that I can burnish easily, uh, that I work with easily. The finish is really nice. It's beautiful. It's stunning. I think people really enjoy uh, Shinky Shell Cordovan. Uh, just to look at, people walk into the shop and they pick it up right away. Okay. Um, I don't think I've had any issues with this leather at all. It's been really nice to work with. And uh, overall, um, you can pick this up either at Rocky Mountain uh, leather supply, they usually have it in stock, or at Belts Leather. I'll leave the links. Coming in next is Riccato Shell Cordovan. This is a tannery from Italy. It's quickly becoming one of my go-tos. And the reason that is, is I rate a lot of the leather that I get based on consistency of product and consistency of availability. Uh, the last thing I rate it on is price and what you get for what you spend. Here, this is a great deal. Shell Cordovan uh, from Ricardo uh, has been really awesome. The uh, consistency on the product has been great. Sometimes I'm in the middle of a project where I'm missing a couple of pocket pieces and I don't have quite enough just because of the odd shapes of the Shell Cordovans you get. Uh, I can order another hide of the same color. It'll come in and it'll pretty much match or be close or identical to what I already have. And that's really awesome. I really appreciate that. Not only that, but you have the thickness and that's really cool too. So you've got to have some consistency in your product. Another thing is depending on who you order it from, um, I've had Ricardo Shell Cordovan come in without a stamp, with one stamp or with a couple of stamps on the back, which is really cool because people like to see that. I think I have clients sometimes that come in and they want that Shell Cordovan stamp to show on the inside. Um, this is a marbled piece of Shell Cordovan. It's from Ricardo again. They've expanded their line to feature some uh, museum leather, which has really neat color variation, and some textured leather as well. This is what I made with a teal uh, shell cordovan from Ricardo. Beautiful color variation. It's absolutely stunning. People come into the shop and they just pick it up right away. It's like a magnet. And on the inside, of course, um, I wanted to showcase that beautiful uh, Shell Cordovan stamp. I think it's really luxurious. I think it's really awesome. I think if you like that kind of notoriety that you, you have spent the money on a Shell Cordovan wallet, whenever you open it up, it just says Shell Cordovan right there with the factory stamp. It's uh, really gorgeous. In this particular piece, this is my Buddy Snap wallet. Uh, I dyed, hand dyed the inside of the uh, slots. Um, basically, that is a uh, Badassi uh, cowhide that I custom painted. And uh, I just put them in these uh, marbled wallets because I think it just kind of accents and it really uh, highlights uh, the nature uh, of this leather. It's, it's just a piece of art. I think it's, it's, it's a beautiful creation. And again, that beautiful uh, factory stamp on the inside. Like I said, it's quickly uh, becoming one of my go-to uh, um, producers of Shell, Shell Cordovan just because they have so much variety in the colors. And I like to get away from just the standard black, burgundy, or brown, or natural. Uh, I, I do like making those wallets, believe me. They are, they are very popular, but sometimes I want to have fun making a wallet too. 
Um, this is another producer. This is another Japanese producer. And um, this is a really stunning color. This is an eggplant. This is called、um, Ogawa Shell Cordovan. This is a Japanese producer. I really like the. Colors they have, I do like the consistency of the product. The only thing is the availability for me is a killer.、Uh, sometimes I want to get the same piece, and I don't know very many people that sell Ogawa. If you do go thr- through them directly, you have to buy a, a, a large amount at wholesale. And, you know, I just don't have enough people buying Shell Cordovan, especially this、um, producer.、Um, but、uh, you can get the really cool factory stamp on this. Sometimes,、uh, depending on who you order it from, I, and I only know one place, and that's Belts Leather, that usually has this in stock, and、um, they have a really cool factory stamp. I really love their factory stamp. I made a couple of pieces with the rough out on the pocket. Here's a bifold I made with that in brown. Now, the only knock I have on it is really the availability. Um, I have heard from other producers, or I'm sorry, other makers like myself, that they don't really like working with、um, Ogawa Shell Cordovan just because it has more of a synthetic look to the finish. And in my opinion, I think, well, everyone's entitled to their opinion, of course.、Um, everyone has their own opinion on, on, on leather and what they prefer to work with. And, but I think it's just the, a matter of perfection.、Um, the Japanese are well known and notorious for wanting everything to be perfect. And it's almost too perfect, where, yeah, it kind of does have a little bit of a synthetic feel on the finish.、Uh, this is a bifold I made with.、Um, I think it's with a w a l p i r or Pueblo leather on the inside. And of course, that beautiful stamp showing right on the inside of that. And yeah, it's, I still love working with this leather sometimes.、Uh, when I can get it, I will,、um, I will order some every now and then. That stamp just, I don't know, that stamp really speaks to me. I really love it. Anyway, this is one of the pieces I made with it. It's a little bifold.、Uh, I think I've made maybe three or four of them for, for some clients before. Uh, last but not least, the classic, the iconic, the、uh, probably one of the oldest tanneries in America. This is Horween Leather. Now, when I first heard of Shell Cordovan, my, when my ears first heard the name Cordovan, it's like synonymous with Horween. Horween is from Chicago.、Uh, they've been around since probably the early 1900s, 1905, if I'm not mistaken. Now, this is. Absolutely stunning leather. Okay, I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this, but I personally don't like working with、uh, a lot of Horween leather.、Uh, a, the、uh, consistency of product, you can get one end that's really thick and the other end really thin. And that kind of kills my project because I don't wanna skive Horween leather.、Um, if I skive it with a knife, it just takes a long time. Sometimes you get really lucky and you get a really nice stamp and you can do a rough out because it is one of those things. It's, it's notoriety, it's like brand awareness, it's brand recognition. Horween, if you're、uh, one of those Cordovan heads, Horween's like one of those things. Here's another one with a rough out. The stamp didn't come out too well from the factory, but I made it, made, made it work and it still looks cool even with that faded look、uh, with the stamp not so well placed. Still like it. Uh, and it is more on the expensive side, you guys. You can only order this through Tannery Row. You have to email Tannery Row, and you don't really get to look at the hides. It's just up in the air. You can request something, and you know, hopefully, the finish is really good. I've had Horween Shell Cordovan be really cloudy and really shiny, and then you have to put that extra work to shine, get, get a shine out of that leather.、Uh, this is a project I'm working on right now. I haven't finished the edges yet, but.、Um, Well, here, here, back to the,、um, back to the bifold,、uh, just to kind of show you again that, that really cool stamp、uh, on the back of the leather.、Uh, I think this is the、uh, number eight shell Cordovan, which is their version of Burgundy.、Um, and yeah, so you guys, if you really love working with Horween, I have nothing against it. Personally, I just don't really like the consistency. Of the product myself. I think it's just this wallet right here. It's really thick. It's a little thicker than the other、uh, few wallets that I made 
with Horween leather. I mean, sometimes you get it, like I said, you get a really great piece of Horween leather where it's nice and even, and then all of a sudden you hit this really, really big, chunky area of it. And I understand the nature of Shell Cordovan. I understand why this happens. But when you're making a product, sometimes it can be a little harder to justify why is this so thick? Why is this not as thick? Why is the, Why does this look so cloudy? Why does this not? Anyway, you guys, um, I hope you enjoyed this video on Shell Cordovan. If you've never heard of Shell Cordovan that you have, if you're a maker and you want to get into start making some Shell Cordovan wallets, I hope this gives you a little bit more perspective. And I will put links down below uh, where to get some of that beautiful Shell Cordovan. Anyway, you guys, until next time, if you've enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, hit the like button, support what we're doing here. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe, leave comments. I always want some dialogue with you guys and kind of want to hear what you guys are thinking as well. Take care.